People of the internet, hello, it is I, Tofu Ace, here to play some Kerbal Space Program. Now, if you look to your bottom right corner, you will see that I have finally updated to, yeah, that's right, 0.23.5.464. That's right, it's the new ARM, NASA ARM thingamajiggy update of sorts. So, I have that installed, right? I reinstalled all of my mods, including a few new ones. So that should be interesting. Okay, here we go. This screen is not laggy anymore for me, that's great. I have volumetric clouds, they look nice. So if I can sort of switch into there. Well, I'll do it anyway. Just so I can show you the new net. Now, I said I was going to take it to the polar regions, and I did. I took it to the north. Um, I found out winter was coming. <laughs> and after that, I ended up accidentally deleting the video. So, I picked up a few science points here and there. I don't think it was enough to buy anything outright. So, they have the mission flags DAO. I have that installed, so that's great. I can also right-click to change uh oh okay here we go oh yeah i was cl clicking on the wing and not the control surfaces so if you click on the control surface i get all that which is usually there but i had a uh conflict w with my mods and i think a parachute pack or so i don't know what happened but with the mods in the b9 aerospace i wasn't getting the the correct right click menu so i could change these things for the most part, it's all a roll. I changed the inners to pitch, and these to pitch too, because it was getting a little nuts <laughs> with maneuverability, but that still will help a little bit. So, yeah. All right. Oh, another thing. I added cameras, and you will see right why. Can I change the field of view? Oh, wait, yeah. No, it's just the ID. Oh. Maybe that's why I wasn't working earlier. I didn't change the IDs. See, I'm, I'm still learning. <laughs> still learning. So I have this one down here and it wasn't working. Ah, see, it's marked to two and it's not. It should be three, right? So that's three. This one is two, and this guy should be one. So one, I'm a little worried because of the colors. Should they be completely different colors? That's showing two, and that's, oh, I also added mech jet too. And that's showing three, okay, well, that should work. <laughs> we shall see, right? Let's launch this, oh, save, and then launch this bad boy. Probably should have got it comfortable in my chair before I started recording. Ah, uh, I am such a noob at all this recording business. Oh, I'm also not running. Ooh, bounced up, bounced a little hard there. Am I dragging? No, okay. I'm also uh, not running texture replacements, you know, like uh, reducers and the like. What I'm actually doing is running an active texture management, I think it's called the mod, which shall reduce for me. That's where I want it. How do I? Okay, yeah, lock. Okay, good, 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 good. Megjub is there. I'm not seeing Kerbal Alarm Clock. That's a little worry. Maybe I have to reinstall it. Because I installed the toolbar after. Uh, okay. So yeah, if I go into internal mode, ah, here we go. Now, you can't see my mouse. I probably should have enabled the cursor, but oh well. You can see here, like for example, this is an all glass cockpit, a MFD, a multifunction display. On the top, you have A, B, C, D, E, and then one, two, three, four, five, bottom six, seven to zero, and then you have up, down, enter, back, and to top. So the cool thing is this is, for example, if I hit A, and then one for the PDF, oh look. Netball. 
over here I can go down to let's say B for info and then our altitude we have an altimeter and on the bottom screen now I can go to C for camera I have the one in the front the one facing rearward on the top and the one beneath that's upside down <laughs> and looking behind which is kind of cool now can I change the okay I can zoom in interesting I don't think I can move it around or if I can I don't know how so why don't we go back to two yeah I think it was two okay and launch the sucker Had the brakes on. Lift our gear. You don't hear the gear sounds. Just a quiet gear, that's what it is. And yeah, see, there we go. Lifting off. You can see KSC in the background. Not in the background, in the rearward facing camera. And if I pull up and pull some G's see the nap ball is working and yeah nice display here too pretty crisp movement from that yeah it doesn't like that much so we have what our altitude our heading in the middle. SIS is enabled. That's our rate of sync. Our altitude gain. Our speed. Is that our speed? It should be our speed, right? Yeah, it's a little bit over 100, right? Let's, uh, yeah. Surface speed. We don't have any trim enabled. So nice. I'm really liking that. There's other information too. I'm gonna make uh, a little climbing action here. While we're doing that, of course, we can go. Let me just check the other cameras again. It's our front facing camera. If I pull up a little bit more, we can. Uh, that, there we go. that's not disorienting at all <laughs> what else do we have oh yeah I'm in the clouds that's why see volumetric clouds you can see layers of them as we're flying and if I go and sit down you can see them better yeah pretty nice huh fluffy white clouds this plane still rolls way too quickly I gotta work in that still uh, what else do we have here? Can can I flip those? No, I don't know. No, I can't. But I can press on these. That's our lights, gear, SAS, yeah, and I assume RCS. So let's look at the uh, MFDs for a second. What else do we have here? That's our we also have what orbital. So this is really great as like a space plane, and you want to get to, or just uh, a rocket. Also, you can use this to fly different courses, get into orbit, all that stuff. I've seen it in um, what was that game called? Or, uh, or I think it was called Orbiter, right? Uh, I never played it, but I loved. I used to love watching videos. This is this came out way before KSP ever came out, and it's a little bit more realistic. Although I don't think the physics engine was as great. I don't know. I can't remember. I never played it, of course, but I think it came around maybe first in like 2001 or 2004, and it's been uh, kept up by the community since then. I think it's open source. Anyway, there is it does interface with MechJet. It has a plug-in system. 
that will interface with different mods. So I, that's why uh, I installed MechJab. I, I like to fly things more manually, and plus I never bothered to learn MechJab. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, it has it there. Take off assistance. Uh, I guess you can put in some information here. I have no idea. We have the mission timer though. That's nice. And our amount of thrust, can we change that? Yeah, we can. Thrust to weight ratio? Really? Wow, this is a powerful engine. Okay. Is that the next one? Yeah. That's cool that we have the vertical and surface. This would be great for a lander can. As you're trying to land on a different body. Like, uh, <laughs> that sounds weird without explaining it. Uh, with, uh, you know, heavily bodies, I mean like the Mun or Eve or, or the like. So that's interesting. Although with Eve you can just really use parachutes, can't you? Again with thrust. We have an alarms fuel. Am I? I have fuel. Maybe it's only looking for uh, rocket fuel or something. I don't know, that's that's a little weird. Is that our last one? Yeah, so that's for our flight info. Then we have different info too, like resources. It's not showing anything. We, we technically have a little bit of mana propellant because of the capsule that we have, and it's not showing that either. We next have it showed like um, intake air. But it does not. Oh, it has stages too. Mission info. Nothing in the logs. I don't know how you would log information. Maybe there are like events, like when you hit F3. Oh, I have my function key on my mechanical keyboard. Oh, I also installed. Um. Oh, what do you call them? I also installed things on my keyboard so it won't be so clicky. So it won't come up as badly as I'm flying. <laughs> Trying to put a rocket into orbit, for example, I'm just like, ah, go this way, no, go that way. So you can probably hear it now, but I think with background noise and music, it won't be as noticeable. I think I did a fairly okay job trying to hide it before. Or at the very least, when I'm talking, it's not so noticeable. I know people get annoyed by me. I love mechanical, I've always used mechanical keyboards. I love them, so. Had an IBM Model M. And uh, what was the one before that? Model F or something like that? I, don't, I can't remember. It's the one with the the giant tabs on the sides. <laughs> so maybe it is the uh, flight results that they, they use the events in the log. Because right now I don't have any information. Uh, go back. Is it going back? It's not... I, I turned it off apparently. <laughs> Are we in here? Yeah, so radar altimeter, that's really nice. We are up there, aren't we? It doesn't show how do you change the the scale of it, because that's by so many kilometers, that's way up there. How do you is it just dependent on the body that you're near, the planet or the moon that you're near? Because it can't change. Hmm. Oh, that was it for this one, okay. And of course, you know, you could change the different layouts. Uh, with skin, I mean, you know, with skins, and maybe they have other ones that will give you more information. I am, I'm not using the stock uh, MFD. I'm using a different one, I can't remember, the KSI MFD. I, I installed the KSI MFD first, and then I installed the pack on top of it. It's it's the one that um, that they recommend on the forum post. So when you go look up KSI MFD, you'll see that. We're back at our cameras. That's kind of cool. Our targeting information. Yeah, I targeted some. Yeah, it landed on carpet. Sure, okay. Sure, we have something in orbit. Maybe we're, we're docking or whatever. 
that information will show up too. It'll be really useful. Is there anything else we can do? Target? Ooh. What's this? Ah. What do you mean by reference parts? Huh? I don't know what happens. The lights. I think the lights turned on because it's getting darker. But that freaked me out for a second. <laughs> uh, huh? What? Let's let's look at it from this angle. Why is it? It's with the lighting. You're seeing that, right? It's like an underglow underneath. I don't even know what mu mech. Dot MJ2 that AR202 is. Uh, it says by reference. Maybe if we had, uh, maybe like because when you're outside of the uh, um, IVA, you can select this and, and go. Oh yeah, uh, control from here. I can test that. Let's see, let's select that. Then go out. Then control from here. Does it go back? No. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> this is exciting video, isn't it? I haven't even been at 100% thrust. Well, I am way up here. I'm at 11 kilometers above. Maybe we can go to the desert and pick up a little tiny little bit of science. Maybe so this won't be as useless <laughs> watching me do say all these things. We're loaded together, people. Oh, I see. What, uh, oops. Go. I bet enter there and then track. No. I don't know, people. I don't know what that is about. But anyway. Filters. Oh. So that's for the list. You can set a bunch of filters with it. What else do we have here? Vet Celestials. Oh, nice. Very nice. Does it have all the... I guess it does. Does it have all the... even the moons too? There's Tylo, and there's Minimus. Mine, Maho. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think it does actually. Yeah, Bob. Hmm. Gilly. So, did I press enter? No. Uh, judging by this, I can go back. How do I... Uh, maybe if you have a satellite, they'll watch you? I don't know. Oh, that's the, um... Yeah. Mech Jeb. I can't go back from here? home. Target is minimus. See? Yeah, it shows all that information there now. What was the orbit, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, so that's different now. Like, if I clear the target... How do I clear the target? That's very cool. It's even showing the mun down over there. Assume that's Kerbin. And as we bird, you can see it changing. But I'm in a plane, so you really it's not really the best way to show you. Okay, where are we going? We're way up here. See that's the previous continent where KFC KSC. I almost said KFC again, like in the other video. How do I get rid of those? Okay. It got backwards for some reason. Because. What was it to. Oh, it's Alt. The Alt key. I should really have this turned off from the start, shouldn't I? The uh, front tank. Now it's pulling from the rear. 
Okay, so what am I doing here? <laughs> this is a wonderful video, Tofu. Am I above land yet? No, I'm not. Wow, with the volumetric clouds really bright now when it's reflecting light, isn't it? It's very similar to real life, though. It's bright as heck up there. So we can see the next continent off to the distance. Where we're still traveling over the sea, the ocean. Have they named the Caribbean Oceans yet? I don't think so. If they have, I would love to hear them. See inside the Kerbin now. Hmm. Well, that looks weird. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying this IVA view. This is great. It, with the uh, MK2 cockpit that I have a special version of installed, it's going to look fantastic. I, this is why I feel a little bit lost. I don't have. Yeah, I don't have that open. Why is that sideways? Does it think I'm in orbit, maybe? So it's... No, that's, that's not right. First off, whoa, it's, it's way off, isn't it? Okay. Did I find a bug, maybe? Oh, even... My controls? Yeah, my controls are messed up, too. How did that happen? Like, I'm pressing A right now, and it's pulling up. What the heck? What? How did that happen? Ooh, this is weird. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be horrible. Uh... <laughs> how do my controls get turned around? Oh, is it because I, I touched that, uh... Shoot, let's... Oh, no. no. Okay. Clear target. Enter. See a pending doom rushing up towards me. That's a quote, people. Look it up. Great book. How do I... Is it reference parts? Ah, there we go. I knew that would be it. Weird. Okay, now my WASD is working correctly. So when I choose the other one... It changes it. Now my S key is not up, it's uh, to the left, apparently. Yawing to the left. Uh, oof. I never noticed that. That's that's a tricky one. Luckily I remembered. See, now it's going... I wonder why that is. What is it? Oh, it's MechJep, maybe? It's because MechJep is installed on its side? Is it up and down? Like, it... it, it it figures it should be installed up and down, like on a rocket. I don't know, that's weird, isn't it? I bet you that's it. I bet you that is exactly it. Well, we lost a lot of altitude and we're not anywhere near land, so let's go back up and climb. Oh, I have hot rockets installed. I had installed before, too. But if you're noticing where I'm getting those afterburner effects, that's where it's from. Some dark skies here. No, not really. The upper layer was darker, but no, it's just... Well, that was freaky. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still freaked out by that. <laughs> well, there you have it. My new update and installation of mods that hopefully support and work rather well <laughs> with the ARM update from KSP and a little and uh, a, a little bit it's more like over 20 minutes <laughs> of footage of me playing around with the, the KSI MFD glass cockpit display for planes and rockets I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that especially with landers it's gonna be great I I this game never ceases to amaze me especially with the modding community amazing mods out there I haven't even scratched the surface of the cool mods that are out there. So yeah, thank you for watching of course, and I'll see you later.